I believe it has possibly the best battery technology we've ever seen from, from anyone. Uh, it has some incredible new innovations, by the way, the most efficient motors we've ever seen. The race to develop high-performance batteries for electric vehicles never ceases. Geely, a Chinese automaker, recently made waves by introducing a new battery for their Galaxy E5 model, an SUV that directly challenges Tesla's Model Y. This new battery is touted as one of the safest and most energy dense in the world, and according to Sam Evans, it ranks in the top 0.5% of efficiency. This prompts the question, how does Tesla's battery stack up against the Galaxy E5's battery and other contenders in the SUV segment? What can Tesla learn from this to effectively improve the upcoming Juniper model? Let's explore that in today's episode. How does the performance of Tesla's battery compare to that of the E5? The battery is the core component of any electric vehicle, propelling automakers around the world to continuously seek improvements in its performance. China, holding the fourth largest lithium reserves globally and controlling 62.9% of the lithium battery market, has become a hub for battery innovation, particularly in lithium-based technologies. Returning to the main topic, Geely's contribution to battery technology is their self-developed Aegis Short Knife Lithium Iron Phosphate batteries. These are integrated into the 49 kilowatt hour and 60 kilowatt hour battery packs for the Galaxy E5 model. With this setup, the E5 offers a CLTC range of 440 and 530 kilometers, respectively. Geely asserts that the battery is highly safe, providing protection against direct impacts to the battery in crash situations. The Aegis system, working in conjunction with the vehicle's Wise Star Cloud-connected central computing system, can accurately predict and preempt thermal runaways and other issues, which Geely claims enhances battery life by 20%. Regarding the range of E5, these figures are based on CLTC testing conditions. When converted to EPA testing, which more realistically reflects real-world performance, the range may be slightly lower. Although there is no standard conversion rate from CLTC to EPA, it is generally expected that the EPA range is about 10% lower. Therefore, the minimum range of 440 kilometers, 273 miles, under CLTC would be approximately 246 miles under EPA conditions. You may be wondering, just 246 miles under EPA testing conditions, where's the impressive game-changing part? Well, this is just the beginning of the story. The range figure for the Galaxy E5 is slightly higher than that of older trims of the Tesla Model Y, which also use lithium-ion chemistry. The standard rear-wheel drive trim, later replaced by the long-range rear-wheel drive this year, had a range of 244 miles with a 60 kilowatt hour battery pack. In comparison, the basic trim of the Galaxy E5 features a smaller 49 kilowatt hour battery pack, yet manages to achieve a longer range. This suggests that Geely's Aegis LFP battery boasts a higher energy density than the Model Y's prismatic LFP battery. Although Geely has not disclosed official numbers, this development is promising news. It highlights the continuous efforts of companies involved in LFP battery development to incrementally improve the energy density of this battery chemistry. The battery of the E5 also exhibits lower power consumption compared to the Tesla Model Y. The Geely Galaxy E5 is equipped with an 11-in-1 intelligent electric drive motor, delivering a maximum power output of 160 kilowatts. Through optimization and integration of core drive components, its efficiency under CLTC conditions reaches 90.04%, with a power consumption of 11.9 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. On the other hand, Tesla claims an energy consumption of 15.7 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers for the Model Y rear-wheel drive, based on European WLTP lab testing. Moreover, Geely expects the EREV version, extended range electric vehicle of their Galaxy E5 to arrive later, featuring the latest Shendon battery technology and is tipped to achieve a range of 2,000 kilometers on a full tank of gas. Not much information is available about this battery. And since this version of the Galaxy E5 operates partly on gasoline, it's beyond the scope of our current discussion, so I won't delve further into it. Currently, Tesla only uses 2170 batteries and LFP cells from BYD for the Model Y. As Tesla's flagship product, the company aims to enhance the performance of the Model Y and the upcoming Model Y Juniper, particularly in terms of range and charging speed, 
which are two factors that customers care about the most. As of now, neither Elon Musk nor anyone at Tesla has revealed details about the battery that will be used in the Model Y Juniper. However, the Shenxin Plus battery from Chinese battery manufacturer CATL is frequently mentioned as a potential candidate for this future SUV. Given CATL's long-term partnership with Tesla and Tesla's efforts to boost its battery production in Nevada by establishing a small facility using idle equipment sourced from CATL, these speculations make perfect sense. I have mentioned this battery many times, so here's a quick summary. The Shenxin battery represents CATL's latest generation fast charging LFP cell, notable for its exceptional cold weather performance. According to reports, this battery can provide an additional 400 kilometers of range with just 10 minutes of charging. Even in extremely cold temperatures as low as minus 10 degrees Celsius, it achieves a 0 to 80% charge in only 30 minutes, matching the charging speed of other EVs under normal conditions. Additionally, there is a strong possibility that Tesla will adopt CATL's M3P battery technology. Known for its impressive energy density of 210 watt-hours per kilogram, this is 15% higher than other LFP cells. Such advancements could potentially enable EVs equipped with these batteries to achieve a remarkable range of 1,000 kilometers or 621 miles on a single charge. These new batteries from CATL the M3P battery, it's finally confirmed it is definitely going to be in Tesla's new vehicles, definitely going to be the new Model Y. Returning to our comparison, it's clear that while Tesla Model Y and the Juniper model focus on batteries optimized for fast charging and cold weather performance, the E5 prioritizes higher battery energy density. This choice offers several advantages. Firstly, higher energy density enables more compact battery designs which in turn frees up space within the vehicle. This additional space can be utilized to enhance passenger comfort or increase cargo capacity, a key selling point for SUVs. Secondly, with more energy-dense batteries, manufacturers can achieve the same range with smaller and lighter battery packs. This reduction in weight not only improves vehicle efficiency, handling, and performance, but also contributes to cost savings. According to Statista, as of 2024, batteries still constitute approximately 28% of the total cost of large electric vehicles. Thus, any reduction in battery size through improved energy density can significantly impact overall vehicle affordability. Thanks to advancements in battery technology, the price of the E5 model ranges between $20,700 to $27,600, and of course, it's much cheaper than current Model Y. The E5 represents Geely's first Galaxy car developed for both domestic and export markets. Currently, right-hand drive versions are undergoing testing alongside left-hand drive variants. However, potential buyers in the U.S. face significant hurdles due to recent government tariffs, which have quadrupled to 100% on Chinese electric vehicles, making it nearly impossible for U.S. consumers to purchase this model. In conclusion, one area where Tesla could learn from Geely is how to enhance the energy density of their LFP battery cells. With support from CATL, I believe Tesla won't take long to achieve this goal. Currently, CATL has a M3P battery with an energy density of 210 watt-hours per kilogram, but I foresee that within the next five years, these figures could potentially double. What are your thoughts on this? How soon do you think Tesla can reach a milestone of 500 watt-hours per kilogram with LFP chemistry, akin to CATL's achievement with condensed battery cells? Share your predictions below so we can continue our discussion. Is there another way to further improve the energy density? Instead of focusing solely on improving the energy density of the LFP cell, Tesla and CATL have another option, aiming for a different battery chemistry with solid-state batteries being the most promising solution. Let's take a moment to look at CATL's battery development roadmap. By 2025, CATL aims to achieve an energy density of 350 to 500 watt-hours per kilogram using solid-state batteries with high voltage, HV, cathodes, and lithium metal. Currently, CATL has not disclosed details about this, so we must wait a little longer for more information to emerge. Being hailed as the holy grail of battery development by Reuters, the fundamental principle of solid-state batteries is straightforward. 
unlike traditional lithium ion batteries that use liquid electrolytes. Solid state batteries employ a solid electrolyte material, such as ceramic, glass, or solid polymer, that allows ions to pass through while effectively acting as a separator between the anode and cathode. This innovation eliminates the need for liquid electrolytes, reducing the cell's volume and weight while increasing its energy density. Developers have been actively searching for such solid materials for over four decades. Moreover, solid-state batteries address the issue of dendrite growth, a concern in current lithium-ion batteries that can lead to fire hazards. Without flammable solvents found in liquid electrolytes, solid-state batteries can withstand higher temperatures, enabling extremely rapid charging rates without damaging the battery cells. Currently, in addition to CATL, there are also many other companies participating in this field, including QuantumScape, Blue Solutions, Toyota, and NIO. The most significant player in solid-state battery development is the Chinese automaker NIO. NIO's 150 kilowatt hour semi-solid state battery pack, utilizing cells from Beijing Weilion New Energy Technology, achieves an impressive energy density of 360 watt hours per kilogram. NIO has announced that this advanced battery pack will be operational in the second quarter of 2024, providing NIO vehicles like the NIO at 7 with a range exceeding 1,000 kilometers on a single charge. NIO's chief executive, William Lee, stated, This battery is currently the battery pack with the highest energy density and mass production in the world and has excellent safety performance. Nevertheless, NIO's energy density record has been surpassed by a new battery developed by a company called Talent New Energy, boasting an energy density of 720 watt-hours per kilogram, the highest ever recorded. This breakthrough battery enables a range of nearly 1,300 miles on a single charge. However, further real-world testing is needed before it can be commercialized. That concludes today's video. As Musk recently confirmed on X, there won't be a Model Y refresh this year. This means Tesla and CATL have at least one more year to enhance battery technology and introduce even better, more affordable batteries. Alternatively, another battery maker might step up to supply the new battery for the Model Y Juniper. It's uncertain at this point. What are your thoughts on this? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments section below. If you found today's video informative, don't forget to hit the like button and consider joining the Atom Tech community by subscribing to our channel. Until next time, goodbye and see you soon.